time it was right so now Hello, welcome to the Do Progressive Voice. My name is Joshua. Today I'll be focusing on a particular poll named IBD TIPP Tracking Poll, also known as the most accurate presidential poll in America. How posters perform in the last three elections. Shown below are the differences b- between posters' margins and actual election outcomes. For example, IBD TIPP estimated 20. 20- 12, that Obama would beat Ob- Romney by 1.6 percentage points. In fact, he won by 3.9%. So the difference or error was 2.3. Looking at the last three elections, IBD, TIPP, has been the most accurate of 11 national polls. And you can see them lined up here. In 2004, they were off by 0.4%. And eight, they hit it in the bullseye. 2003, 2.3%. They average overall 0.9% over that period, making them number one tied with Pew Research. So why am I pointing this out? I'm pointing this out because currently this particular poll has Joe Stein over the 5% mark that's needed in order to be qualified for federal funding in 2020. So I thought it was important to take a look at how they derive their polls How does IBD TIPP do it? It starts with a random sample of registered voters and likely voters who are identified based on a series of carefully crafted questions. There are typically between 150 to 1,000 respondents, given a margin of error for both groups of plus or minus 3.4 percentage points at a 95% confidence level. What that means is that statistically speaking, we're 95% sure that our polls will be within 3.4 percentage points of the actual result. So we'll be keeping up with uh, this particular poster as they will be releasing a daily poll between now and the night of the election. Now I'd like to take you to the article that shows that Jill Stein is actually improving since June. You can see she moved up, kind of slid down a little bit, and now has broken past the 5% mark according to IBD TIPP presidential election tracking poll. And this is as of October the 19th. They actually have Donald Trump ahead by 1%, 41% to Clinton's 40%. Gary Johnson 7.6% and Green Party candidate Jill Stein got 5.5%. So you can see here where the attacks impacted her all the smear attempts by mid-September, she had dropped by nearly 1-2%. to Now, more recently, she's been going back up by nearly 2% or more over the past month. So now we have about three weeks, and once you hit that 5% mark, I mean, she's currently at 5.5%, which they round off to 6% as far as a snapshot that's provided to media. Once you hit that 5% threshold, then of course you're eligible for federal funding, presuming you get 5% of the vote. At this time, given that they have an accuracy of 0.9%, she's right on the borderline of potentially getting this 5%, but she's trending upward, so this is very encouraging. And this is just this one st- one particular poll, um, which is actually the most accurate poll that we have. Results are the first in IBD TIPP presidential track and poll. Daily updates start Thursday and will continue until the election. What's more, Trump scores higher on voter intensity with 67% of his backers saying they strongly support him compared to 58% of Clinton supporters who say they strongly back their candidate. What does that mean? For me, that means there are 40 40- two percent of Clinton supporters that do not strongly back her. So if we use this opportunity to really drive home Jill Stein's message and couple that with all of the different corruption, WikiLeaks, etc., primarily I would like to advertise Jill Stein over that, but of course uh, if you want to also include the WikiLeaks, that also can help to some extent. But it is important we have to make Jill Stein front and center. I say this because majority of Americans do not know who Joe Stein is. And those that do know who Joe Stein is, some of those people believe whatever media tells them. You know, that she's anti-vaxxer, she doesn't know what she's doing about the quantitative easing, she wants to ban Wi-Fi, which all of these things are very clearly false and inaccurate and smear attempts. It is very important that we get out there and make sure college campuses, wherever you are, at work, large corporations, and they're on their bulletin boards, you can go to her website and print out she has little bullet points of what her main agenda is, which very much lines up to Bernie Sanders' agenda. Mass produce them, give them to your family members and friends, everyone that you can possibly know. This is our time to canvas. Plus, you can also do the phone banking and donate to her campaign. Go to her website. I'll provide the link below to her campaign page and just click on donate. It'll take you through the steps 
You can also click on Get Involved or Volunteer, and that'll take you to the steps of what to do. Somebody will contact you, tell you, tell you how you can contribute locally. The methodology provided here, a total of 872 Americans age 18 or older participated in the nationwide survey. Of the 872 respondents, 825 were registered voters, and 782 were likely voters. Technometrica uses traditional telephone methodology using live interviewers for data collection for its public opinion surveys. Roughly 65% of the interviews come from a cell phone sample and 35% from a random digital dial, RDD, landline sample. And again, re-emphasizing they don't do robocalling as well. So this is very encouraging. You can see this uptake with the most accurate poll that we have over the past um, four elections. That's very, very encouraging. This means that Joe Stein has a very good chance of getting federal funding, presuming everybody who says they're going to vote for her during this particular sample will actually come out to vote for her. Uh, it, this actually reflects the American population. Now, I also want to add that once Jill Stein hits that 5% threshold, that means one out of 25 Americans know who she is and are planning on voting for her. If you're in an auditorium filled with 300 people, that means at least 10 to 12 of you are know of Jill Stein and mean to vote for her. So that means that you shouldn't be shy about sharing your opinions about her. This is actually beginning to be a little more common. We are making progress, so continue whatever you're doing and build on that. Most importantly, break away all the, the smoke and the fog, share my videos, share her website, share her printouts, whatever you can do, foam baking, canvassing, go to the parties, and her events are getting larger, even smaller towns. For example, she has 113 people showing at Grand Rapids, which is not a large city, 280 people showing up at San Diego. She'll be doing a town hall on Young Turks. Finally, hello, this will be coming up on Friday, October the 21st at 3 p.m. So let's watch that. Finally, finally, finally. She's showing up there. And then Davis to Berkeley, uh, she'll be doing a caravan. You can join that. And 27 people going currently um, RSVP to go. She'll be in Berkeley again. 61 people planning to go. October the 22nd, Detroit, 68 people so far. That's Friday, October the 28th. Fredericksburg coming back on the East Coast. Uh, she'll be showing up on November the 6th. Friday, October 28th at Eastern Michigan University, 108 people RSVP to go. And again, you can do the grassroots events. There's, You can go to that particular page, do phone banking parties, canvassing, and look at the map and click on any one of these little button, these pins, and it'll take you exactly where the get-together will be. And again, please donate. She needs your support. Thus far, she has gotten a little over $2 million, but that is nothing compared to Hillary Clinton's almost billion dollars between Clinton and Trump and even Johnson, who has taken in around 6 to $8 million. We need to really get behind her. She's actually starting to catch up with Johnson. We still have three weeks. There are some countries that presidents come out of nowhere, and within a month, they go from zero to president. So keep up what we're doing. Don't lose heart. Don't let people um, try to smear her. Stand up. If you're not sure about something, how to come back, try to go through my videos. Do your research online. You can put a request in for me. I'll try to do what I can to post a video up or whatever we can do to really get the message out this is it thank you very much for listening and until next time stay safe have a brighter more progressive and evolved to you tomorrow talk to you soon bye bye